The question we're going to answer today is how can ChatGPT help small businesses to draft winning proposals? ChatGPT has been around for a little bit now and millions and millions of people are using it. So how can you use it? The problem that I'm finding is that not a lot of people know how to stretch ChatGPT and use it to its fullest. And the the secret really is that you have to draft a very detailed prompt to put into ChatGPT. You have to approach ChatGPT like it's a person. If you're going to hire a copywriter to draft a proposal or anything for you, you can give them a couple sentences and see what happens, or you can give them many, many paragraphs. You can pull your about us from your web page. You can pull a lot of details about your industry and they can study all of those details and because they know that much more about your company and your industry, they can build a proposal that is way, way, way better and ChatGPT is just the same. So in this video, I'm going to select a random RFQ from Sam and I'm also going to select a random vendor that is a good fit for that RFQ. Then I'm going to use ChatGPT to build out a proposal for that vendor to respond to that RFQ. Make sense? Well. Uh, Good, it should, it's very simple. I built out a special tool that I'm just calling the prompt tool. You're welcome to download it for free. It's still in a pretty raw format, but it is downloadable right down there in the description. Uh, click on that. I'm gonna ask for your email because I wanna get to know you, of course, um, but it's a great tool. It took me many hours to build it, um, it's a, but it's a great tool. I think you're gonna find that uh, with this tool, it guides you towards making a super, super detailed prompt for ChatGPT that's going to pop out a great start to building a proposal. Uh, I'm thinking that it's very likely you can take this tool and ChatGPT and probably cut about a, a third to a half of the time that it takes to build a proposal. It doesn't build it for you, but it takes you to the middle of the process and gives you an earlier, it kind of pushes the starting line forward for you. I hope it helps. Let's go ahead and jump into the video. So I am on the SAM.gov website and I just found kind of a random opportunity here from NASA. Uh, it's for audience evaluation of engagement content and materials, but that's pretty much arbitrary. This is just a test case. I scrolled on down and I found three documents here for attachments. One is the RFQ right there and then there's an evaluation criteria. So, you know, as you probably know, if you do this all the time, these documents jump around and they're, they're always changing. You never know what you're going to get to to work off of. Uh, but, you know, just wanted to kind of give you an idea here. So I, I grabbed that. Um, I actually did some research really quick and found a, a company that I just wanted to use as a test case, All Women Leadership. Hey, this is a plug. It's advertising. Hopefully this helps them get some business. Um, but they just seem like a good fit. They're in the, they're in the area in D.C. They, they kind of do generally what this RFQ is asking. So I just grabbed, their, grabbed them as a test case also just to kind of say, let's pretend we are AWL responding to this NASA opportunity. And specifically, how do we use ChatGPT to create a good amount of the content uh, so that we have a really good starting point? And of course, uh, disclaimer, uh, ChatGPT is a great writer, um, almost as good as a human in, in many cases. Uh, but, you know, you have to still uh, do a very thorough quality check and tweak and adjust as, as you need to to build out a quality response or a quality proposal. Transitioning now, let's look at what I call the prompt builder. Um, as you can tell, this is in Microsoft Excel and probably doesn't look like much. It's not too complicated, really. Um, I just have variables. These are your company information. So this is where I, I dropped in all women leadership's information. Um, all of it is in here. I got a lot of it from their website, pretty much all of it. This is also from the website. So I just pull all of these. This is just you know, these are just details that are helpful for this purpose. You'll see it'll, it'll make a lot more sense later. Um, then I, I downloaded those documents from Sam regarding that opportunity, and I plugged in a lot of the details from, from them. So it's a NASA, it is the agency, found out that it's a best value. I have drop downs here, so there's lowest price and best value, two options. Uh, product or service, it's a service, another drop down, and you kind of get the point. Plugged in the NAICS code, the title, which was really easy to find, it was right there in Sam. Um, scope of work. I'm going to go into this a little bit later. Let's make this kind of a darker green. And I estimated the cost range. Sometimes that's in the, the RFQ. Sometimes it's not. Uh, period of performance, uh, place of performance, 
evaluation factors, instructions for offers, I, and then the point of contact. So all of that was, you know, pretty easy to find. You you, you download the the RFQs and some, you know, a, entry level anybody could could pretty much find words that they're looking for inside of a, a long document. It might just take them time, but there's uh, you know search features help out a lot as well. Uh, so I told you I'd come back to this scope of work. Um, when we're building this, we don't want this to be too long. And the reason is we're using all of these details here to build a prompt to drop into ChatGPT. And that prompt is going to give ChatGPT very detailed instructions on what to output. And I think you're gonna see that's where all the magic is. You can use ChatGPT very generally. Um, and that's great too sometimes, but in this case, you want it to output something that's specific to this proposal and generally specific to the proposal writing process. So um, that one of the issues is ChatGPT does not allow too many, you know, they, have a, they have a limit on the character count. Um, and it's very kind of strange if you start Googling into it, they, they have their own kind of system. So you, you can't really tell how, how long is too long according to that. But I, what I made it is if you drop in the scope of work, which is generally a very long part of the uh, RFQ, in this case, this is very long, very long, very long, very long. I shortened this. This is where you're gonna to wanna to go to another tool called Microsoft Word. Have you heard of it? It's uh, pretty well known. So uh, Microsoft uh, Excel right here isn't super great um, at telling you your char character count. I mean, well, there's the character count right there, but the, the word count and all of that. So I like to just take the entire scope of work and drop it in here. I just copied and pasted it right from the RFQ. Let's open the RFQ, why not? Yeah, so here's the statement of work. So I just copied all of this all the way down. So you can see it has the introduction, it has a uh, scope of work. In fact, I think I may have just started started right here with the scope of work, but I probably I probably grabbed some of the introduction just to because it had some really good, helpful detail in there. Um, and then, you know, the, the big thing here is this is kind of where the human has to get very involved because this is too long for ChatGPT to take in and you're going to have to scale it down without compromising the quality of what it's, you know, the, the, the details that it's giving. Um, but the good news is that ChatGPT can actually help with this. Um, you can take this and I'll go over here, your first peek into ChatGPT and what I've done. So at the very top, I said summarize, colon, and then I just copied and pasted it in. And um, I actually took you can, you, what you can do, if this is if this is just too long, you can say, let's just go section by section and drop it, the summaries into Word. So let's just say, um, take this introduction. This isn't too long. I'll just drop that into Word. Okay, now the next part, the scope of work. This is really long. I'm gonna copy all of that and the tasks and the deliverables and submittals. And oh, you see how it, how it starts to add up, but everything down to this redacted part. Um, kind of nice that they put that for you because that is at the bottom. Um, all of that content is too long, but if you take it and kind of piece it into um, ChatGPT, you can tell it to summarize. And the first time I did it, it was too, they, they had trimmed way too much. So I said, do it again. Actually, here it is. So I said, I, I took it and I said, summarize this to 500 words. And then I copied and pasted all of it in there. And then here it is. So it took it down pretty good. And you could see it formatted it too, which, you know, which is pretty nice. So I took that and and then I simply dropped it back into here, the scope of work, long area, and, um, and there you go. So that's it, that's building the input, but from here, now we're getting into the really fun stuff. Uh, this is the technical approach, and I have strategy, exec summary, instructions, persona even. This is all stuff that if you click on it, you'll see coming soon, coming soon, coming soon. I really just wanna get this video out and show you what ChatGPT could do to write a technical approach. You can see I'm still building it. I'm building the plane as I'm flying it. But this is all pretty solid right here. Um, this is building the prompt right here. It's basically taking these details. So you can see this project is to provide, and then it pulls it in from one of the inputs, blank, under uh, NAICS code, and then it puts the NAICS code in there, and it says the estimated cost ranges, and then it puts that detail in there. So it really, or this prompt tool that I created works to organize the details and to give chat GPT the very specific requirements that you need it, it to output. Um, so you can see if we, if we go here, let's just take this act as a copywriter for all women leadership. That's the company, uh, a contractor preparing a federal proposal to provide services for NASA. These are all inputs. You can see, um, it all 
it's it's taking the verbiage that I'm giving it as kind of like a wrapping, but it's dropping all of these details into it to create a prompt in English, and that's the language that ChatGPT loves to work in. And it does that, you know, all the all the way along. Um, so there's a lot of detail there. I dropped in place of performance, um, period of performance, a lot of those details. And up here, uh, you can see this is where things get pretty cool. Use these section titles to structure the proposal. A, introduction, B, problem statement, on and on and on. Um, and then at the very bottom, I drop in the statement of proposal. You know, the, write the technical aspects of the proposal in response to this scope of work. And then that's where that scope of work is dropped in there. And even though it's kind of scaled back, it still has a lot of details. It's still very long. As you saw, it is still 11, thousand characters so yeah um, another note really quick this will turn red if it goes over 12,000 characters which is kind of a limit that I set it might not be the limit for chat GPT so this is that's not perfected you could still try it and maybe it'll uh, you know maybe it won't give you that out that error code output that it's too long uh, but I just want to put that as a limit for myself I, I want to keep it under that that area so what I did was I just copied all this copy it grabs it all as though it's text I paste it into ChatGPT and I hit, you know, hit the little airplane and go. Um, so let's look at what it, what it outputted. So I actually have that, this all in the same. So this is what it outputted. Let's find it. Okay. Act as a copywriter for all women leadership. Da, 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 da. Keeps going. Um, marketing and branding. So this is all of the information that I inputted, but there's going to be a line in that. And then we'll see. So yeah, see, I, it takes in a lot of information. Now here's the output. So this is the fun stuff. Introduction. At All Women Leadership, AWL Strategies, we are excited to submit our proposal to provide services for NASA to perform, you know, and it kind of just takes it and structures it into a basic introduction. Uh, it creates a problem statement, uh, proposed solution. It does all of the headers. You can just copy and paste in there. Uh-oh, look at this. It stopped right in the middle of the sentence. Well, that's not good, um, but you can just type in go on and then it just keeps going. So you can see, looks like it had a little bit of an issue there. Also, we have also worked with, and then it jumps right to the proposed solution. So you can tell it, um, you know, rewrite the technical compliance section. That's, and that's fine. But so all you the, do here is you just copy this and you piece it into, you piece it together into Word and you read it through. And some of the areas you may actually want to come back to ChatGPT. So here is the proposed solution and Let's copy that and just say, okay, use this proposed solution to, let's say, oh, the technical, let's expand on the proposed technical methodology and go into um, the project management let's see, styles. Uh, see, I'm kind of kind of just pulling stuff out of thin air there, but um, put a colon there and hit enter, and now scroll on down, and you can see it is writing for us, writing fast. So I know that since it wrote so fast, we're using ChatGPT 3.5. I like to use four for these. It's much slower, but it writes much better. See, give uh, ideas so for graphs and other diagrams. That's the word. There we go. So there's could be a line graph, flow chart, pie chart, Venn diagram. So kind of gives you ideas on how you could do how you could do that. So as you can see, and you probably heard this before, ChatGPT is conversational. So that means that you're, it doesn't just give you a final output and that's it. It kind of has an, an ongoing memory, so you can converse with it. And tell it, you know, rewrite this one section, rewrite section D. Uh, but make it twice as long. Chat GPT probably isn't going to be replacing knowledge workers anytime soon. It's go just going to be supercharging knowledge workers. This prompt tool below is going to be available to you. Down below in the uh, description, you're going to have a link and you can check Chat GPT is going to revolutionize the way that small businesses write proposals. Uh, you're competing against Lockheed and Northrop and all of them, and they have a team of copywriters, proposal writers, technical specialists, all this stuff. Now you have access to something that can give you a well-written starting point for your proposals. Hey, it's an advantage. And if you're not taking advantage of something that just drops into your lap like ChatGPT, then you're not going to be winning as many proposals. Anyway, so this subscribe to the channel, check out this video. I think you're really going to like it. And down below, you'll find a link to download this prompt tool that I was talking about. 
and I'm going to have a blog post that goes over everything you'll need to know about using ChatGPT to write proposals.